Welcome. In today's tutorial, I'd like to discuss on how to use uh, Xdebug with PHP. Xdebug allows PHP developers to debug their code. Prior to doing, we're writing code, excuse me, we would, or some of us would, var dump variables just to kind of see like what what are they you know what uh, hold, what do they hold are they initiated what's in an array and that that can work that is a viable way of doing this but there is another way via enabling or installing xdebug uh, PHP extension. Luckily for uh, Mac users, now I know I'm testing this currently in Mountain Lion, Xdebug is already installed, it's just not configured. So uh, I found a tutorial on a, a site or a site that explains some of the necessary settings to get that going. So let me quickly show you that. So you would, I'm not going to sudo because I'm not changing anything, but you would type sudo vim etc php dot ini. If you don't have that file, then you probably in the etc directory have a php dot ini dot default. You just need to copy that to dot ini. So the first thing you want to do is find the Zendig section line here and again if you are on a Mac you just want to put this in here this line in between the quotes that will load the xdebug extension and then at the bottom towards the bottom of the file right above the local variables you may or may not have this but you would want to go ahead and fill this uh, these following lines out this is um, some of this is self-explanatory some of it's not at this point in time for this tutorial uh, there's no real reason to get into each individual so if you want, you can go ahead and pause this. Uh, if you're viewing this on YouTube, I will add this into the comments section. So once you have that th uh, in there, what you just need to do is restart your Apache server. And so let's go ahead and now start to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my favorite text editor, Sublime Text. So what you'll need to do is when you open Sublime Text, if you don't open it this way, you can go to uh, another, uh, another way to do this. Is I open up a new thing here, you go to projects, add folder to project, and just add that folder. Once you do that, you will get what you see here. Now the next thing you need to do is go to projects, save project as, and just call this Just call this up and I'll just save it here. Oops, sorry. So once we have that in there, we want to go to Edit Projects. Now, 
when you do this, the first time you do this, you will see this section here for folders and you'll see your path. So now what you want to do is do a comma and type in settings. Xdebug URL and save it. So this is how xdebug will get enabled with uh, subline subline text. So now what we want to do is go ahead and let's just test this out. So PHP and let's just test to make sure that everything's working right as far as my web server goes. Yep, there, that works. All right, so let's go ahead and create a variable called tempt. And when you do that, you want to do tempt is equal to, and we'll just call this hello. And let's go ahead and echo out that temp variable. So now what we want to do is, let's say we want to debug at this point before we echo out. So what we'll do is we'll do Shift F8 and go to Add and Remove Breakpoint. So as you can see, it adds a little breakpoint here. We do Shift F8 again and go ahead and hit Start Debugging. So it opens up localhost. Now you'll notice this question mark xdebug underscore session underscore start equals subline dot xdebug. So that right there is telling us we are now you know uh, we are in a session of debug. As you can see, it's saying waiting on localhost. That's what Chrome is telling us. We don't have anything echoed out. We don't see that hello. So let's go back to subline. So as you can see, we're basically stopped here. And as you can see, you can see a stack trace. And you can also see your variable. So it tells you that there is a temp variable that is a string. And it has a value of hello. So as you can see, this is uh, very important to kind of show you. Now, yes, I could have var dumped. Uh, I could have var dumped the temp variable, and the page would have loaded that. So if you're kind of happy where you're at, we can do <coughs> Shift F8. Oops. And we can just go ahead and hit stop debugging. And that finishes loading the page. So as you can see, the session stop. So that's pretty much in the nutshell to get you going. Again, I think this is something that, as a developer, when you get into a little bit more complex PHP applications, this can be helpful, even for beginners when you're trying to understand how the logic's going, what are invariables, what are, what's not instantiated. So when I say not instantiated, what, let's see if we did something like happy. So now let's go ahead, shift F8, and let's start debugging.
So let's take a look and see what happened there. So let's try to remove that. Let's go ahead and remove these breakpoints. Let's try adding that in again. There we go. So now, as you can see, we are we have two variables there. One is the happy variable, which right now it tells us it's uninstantiated. So basically, uninstantiated is is PHP doesn't realize what variable type this is yet because we haven't done anything to the variable. It's just an empty placeholder at this point. So. Again, this can become very helpful if you're debugging your code and you're trying to you're trying to echo out maybe this happy variable and you're understanding you're not understanding why it's blank. Well, when you run xdebug and you see that when you go over when it goes over happy, it's not instantiated. It's not instantiated. You say to yourself, okay, that's why it's not one reason it's not showing. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I'd like to eventually get into a little more advanced tutorials on this. I just wanted to get a basic one going, showing you kind of the basics of what's going on. Uh, so if you're happy, please subscribe. And if you have any comments, please put them below. Thank you.